Coombe Cassis, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at the public workout here, ahead of uh, White Revas this week, where's the whole heavyweight heavyweight night. Big old heavyweight so showdown. Six heavyweight fights, I think, yeah, on the deal. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's and good. You're one of them. I'm one of them, proudly, and I'm happy to be a part of shows like this. It's, it's fortunate for me to be attached to deal, so to be able to just join in on shows like this, obviously, just to be doing things like this, like the public workout, press conference tomorrow, and things are just all, all a blessing. Mm. It seems to be kind of your. You're taking your time with your career, but you, you're kind of just step by step, yeah. waiting for that right opportunity. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that's the perfect word for it, is step by step. No, not going too fast, not trying to go too slow. Like, I want to push on, but I know Dylan and stuff, they want to manage me right. They want to look after me. So I'm happy to move at, at the pace they're picking, um, but definitely I, I'd like to step up soon. Mm, absolutely. Is there a fighter out there around kind of similar sort of fights that you think... He's in the back of my head. Do you know what? I'd like it with him. Not, probably not. No, not that I've been looking at that I can think. Oh, yeah, I'd like to have a go at him, or I'd like to dig at this person. Like I've said before, the things I'm going for are belts. I want, I want some sort of title, some sort of accolade, just some sort, of, a little milestone to tick that off and be like, right, okay, we've got this. Now we can start moving forward, kind of thing. That's what I'm aiming for. That's my first goal. Then from then on, once I've got a bit about myself, a bit more exposure and things people know about me, then it's worthy a bit more to go for some for some better names. Mm. What did, as Dylan White said to you leading into this week, obviously he's concentrating on Oscar Viras, but we know kind of the fighters that he kind of is involved with, that yeah. he will... He's hands-on, yeah, yeah, yeah hands very on. much hands-on, very much hands-on, calls me regularly, we speak regularly. He just always says, he just checks in, like he... He before we got together and things, he knew my team. He knew how I trained and things, so he he knows how all that works. So he's comfortable with that. He's literally just staying in your game. He's just making sure I'm relaxed, really. Make sure I've got everything I need. Is everything prepared? Is everything how you want it to be? Um, yeah, really, just making sure everything's coming together. Do you two kind of speak about stuff outside of boxing on a, on a personal level? Are you that kind of relationship? Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Like if I have any problems at all, like. Like there's, we, he's always there to go to. Like even with boxing stuff, without like, if I just feel like he's he's that guy, like he's comfortable for you to approach. Because I think that's why he's got so much kind of love from the public now is that they can see he's just a very normal person. Like he's very approachable. So that's what I go to him for sometimes. And we have done conversations. What can you tell us about your opponent this weekend? Uh, he's a tough, durable South American. Uh, I think he's from Argentina. So yeah, he's going to be. He's going to come to fight. Uh, he's only been stopped once, I think, and that was only in like the 10th round, so more from like just being tired than actual fatigue. So hopefully he brings, uh, brings a fight. Hopefully he is what I expected from my last opponent, who obviously didn't look the part, but we looked at his record and thought maybe he'll be able to bring me a bit of a challenge. So hopefully this is what I get second time around. For your eighth professional fight, so I wish you the best of luck. I'm sure we'll catch up with you again this week. But, yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, it'll be a huge night from the O2 this week. Don't miss it. No, don't at all. Heavyweights all over. Thank you very much. Fabio Woodley.